there! Uh, 100 subscribers! Oh, you shouldn't have! No, seriously, like, 100 subscribers, that means 100 of you have clicked the subscribe button on my channel of all things. I would love to know why. In the comments, just write down why you subscribed and also what you don't want me to do with this channel. Because I have a feeling that most of you subscribed because of the LEGO tutorials and those are going to be coming in a lot fewer at a time now. I'm going to be doing a little bit more acting and skits and kind of things like that. Unless you don't want me to do that. So just let me know in the comments. But whatever you do, just stick around. Because that's what I'll be doing. Sticking around. It's a pun. You'll get it in a second. Perfect seamless pun transition segue! Woo! I hold in my hand a metaphor. That's right. It's Marcus's marshmallow metaphor monologue time! You know, when you eat something, it goes into you and then the nutrition gets into your body. It becomes part of you. You are what you eat is what I'm trying to say. This represents a character or a role that I've taken and I've put it into myself and then it's become a part of who I am. It doesn't make sense. But I've been a couple characters these last two years and I'm gonna use that as my celebration of this hundred subscriber mark. I'm gonna do the chubby bunny challenge using a metaphor of the stuff I've done in the past. The first character that I ever was that really became part of me was Tumnus the Fawn. I was Tumnus in a school play and I was also a Minotaur, so that's one. Then I dressed up as Hank McCoy from X-Men, as played by Nicholas Holt. I dressed up like him for a day. The next thing I was, was a kind of a sad character in an infomercial. The guy lives in a world where there's too much variety and he wants more bland. I can't handle change! He gets a bag of rice. What if I can't eat the rice? He can't eat the rice because it's in the bag, so we end up with some pretty funny uh, uses of the bag. Three. Now, we get into the interesting thing, because I made a little film with four friends of mine for a, a film festival, and I was the mad scientist. I have done it! Very clearly mad. <laughs> Dr. Deutsch, I believe, was his name. Four. Five! I was in a CSI Miami parody kind of thing. It starts that way, anyways. I guess we've got our man. He's a cop, but then it turns into more of a superhero thing because he turns into a werewolf via a scientific experiment gone wrong. Five. Six. Oh. I made a parody with my friend of the epigraph battles of history. You spilled ink on your face when you wrote this dumb journal. Let me help wash it off in this public urinal. I played Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster. Six. Seven. Okay, this one doesn't count. I'll just throw it in anyway. My brother made a music video and I was the bus driver. I made a really short cameo. Go check that out. It's pretty good. Then, in my second year of college, my second production ever, I was Fred, nephew to Mr. Scrooge. I was also the ghost of Christmas future. Oh! Getting a little crowded in here. Uh oh, filling out. Oh. Ooh! Then we got something interesting. I became Vector from Despicable Me. Oh. I had the haircut and everything. Then, the very next day after I got the mushroom cut taken off, I was Sam Martins, a very extroverted 
flirty guy at a workplace. Uh, for a school project. Uh oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. Then, uh oh. I dressed up as Christmas from Frozen. Just for one evening. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's all I have for today. Well, I've also tried to do a couple impressions of PewDiePie <coughs> and uh, Bane. I don't know what to make first, your spirit or your body! <laughs> You've been too soon. I want to break first, your spirit or your body! <laughs> I put them on my Vine channel. Check it out, I go by the same name. Other than that, um, I've made a submission for Rhett and Link's Good Mythical Morning Time to Spin the Wheel of Mythicality video. And two weeks ago, I think, maybe three, nope, one, a Friday, one of my jokes, my comments, made it onto a Yai video of Yesterday I Asked You from Jax Films, and I was stoked about that. Speak to them in person, prison. I only got three seconds of fame, but there it is. Thank you so much for watching this. I'm gonna go wash now. <laughs> uh, what, how, do, how do I end this? What, what's my outro? Oh yeah, <laughs> if you liked it, do what- I, Why do I have to tell you this? You know what to do if you liked it, you like it! But thank you for watching, leave comments about why you subscribed in the first place, and have a nice day.